I ran into the boyfriend today. He so is to be taught. Yeah, except I can't do it. I'll handle it. Stop! Is he dead? No, just cared. You better go. Oh, I knew the big man. I didn't do it. Tell it to the police. No, it's not what it looks like. Yeah. And how's that? Look, I'm sorry, okay? I wish this never happened. Uh, yeah, well, you could have killed me, you idiot. Whatever you think I deserve for being with Sophie, a death sentence probably, isn't it? So you're going to call the police? Uh, give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Well, because I'm not the only one to blame. You threatened me. And you're the sleazebag hanging around schoolgirls. Daniel, I get that you're jealous, but that's no excuse. But you shouldn't be with Sophie. It's not right. Okay, here's the deal. You keep your mouth shut about Sophie and me, and I will consider not involving the police. Yes or no? Gerald. Mm. Oh, sorry, did I wake you? I was just getting a glass of water. I, I wasn't asleep either. <sighs> Do you know what's special about today? I'm absolutely, definitely ovulating. Oh, uh, uh, uh right. So I thought that since we're both awake anyway, we could try and make a baby. Now, uh, all right. Um, OK, well, I'll get the equipment and I'll do my bit. I thought we could... M maybe do our bits together, you know. Uh, meaning sex? N no, just together in bed. Well, well, well I, I don't know that I'm really prepared. I mean, you should have given me a bit of warning. I can't just, of course. you know. No, I shouldn't have sprung it on you. <laughs> Another time, eh? Maybe tomorrow night. Whenever. <sighs> Why did you bail on me last night? And don't tell me it was because you had a headache. I figured you'd have a better time without me. Why? We were getting on really well. So we got to the charity do and suddenly you're sitting back looking like you'd rather be anywhere else. I guess it hit me how different we are. Different how? We live in different worlds. I'm just not... Not what? Oh, come on, help me out here. You're a city girl. I'm a terminal hack, whatever. Or is that it? Is that all you're going to say? Fine. Well, I think you're a great guy, you know, and obviously something's not working for us. Not really, no. Oh, call it quits. No hard feelings? Why should they be? See so, ya. Yeah. You don't. I was just picking this yeah, up. Yeah, I know exactly what you were doing, son, and I've caught you red-handed. Well, I wasn't stealing your money. I was picking this up for you. Yeah. I know this guy. Matthew wouldn't steal from you, truly. Praying on helpless older people. Helpless. He almost broke my wrist. I suppose you can't help looking dodgy. Oh, thanks very much. I've just been turned down for a job this morning. Now being accused of petty theft. This day is off to a great start. What job? Uh, retail. A clothes shop. Got another interview in half an hour. Are you going to pass some time and let me finally get you that coffee? I'm picking up coffees for Gerald. It's our day off. Fair enough. Uh, long work to go, thanks. Cheers. So you're in the fashion business? Oh, it pays the rent and the fees. For what? Um, art and design course. It starts again in February. So that's why Abuha chose you? Sorry? I'm into drawing graphic novels. I guess she thought that. Oh, that because we had something in common. would be all over each other. The thing is, she doesn't understand what Gerald and I have, so she's always trying to... No need to explain. She got it wrong, that's all. I was so mad at her for setting us up. Still? Me either. She does some crazy things sometimes, but in her own special way, Adaha's a good friend. I think so. 
And she was right about one thing. I'd have jumped at the chance to take you out. Cheers. Might see you later, then. Good luck with that interview. Thanks. That is a terrible idea. It's a wonderful idea. Ben and Tanya broke up because he thinks he's too much of a country boy for a sophisticate like her. And that is something that we can fix. A makeover is what girls do to make ourselves feel good. It's hardly going to work on a bloke like him. Of course it will. Men are into grooming these days. <laughs> ben. Ladies. Have I got a question for you? Run for the hills while you still can. Oh, sure, Shlippy. Ask away. If you felt less of a dyed-in-the-wool country boy, if you felt more of an equal to Tanya, would you still be dating her? I guess, maybe, but I am who I am, so... Have you heard the phrase, you are what you wear? No. It's true. If you put yourself in our hands for the afternoon, I promise you will look and feel like a different person. Actually, I think there's a beer calling my name. Fine. I give up. Obviously, Ben thinks that Tanya is just a superficial city girl, not worth the trouble of getting to know. I don't think that at all. Then why did you let her just walk away without making the slightest effort to fit into her world? I did make the effort. I put on the monkey suit and put up with the wine talk and the, have you been to that bar in Hong Kong? Just felt like Tanya was trading down being with me. Give us two hours and you won't feel like that anymore. Two hours? Two years more like. Just <laughs> three hours tops. Oh. Libby is an expert. She can transform any man, can't she? That's true. I haven't had a failure yet, but... Come on, Ben. You, you only live once. Still in your dressing gown, you lazy thing. I had another shower. I let you down last night. Uh, so I thought that this morning we could just get this over with. So if you're ready, I will do... The business and this, and then you can, you know, with the. Right. The, with, if you want, I can be there when you do the thing. No need. Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, right. Well, that's my cue. Uh, <laughs> babies are us. myself in the wine cellar door. Well, it looks awful. Have you seen a doctor? No, there's no need. I'm fine. So have you heard from Daniel? Uh, he wouldn't return my calls or reply to my text, so I went round there last night late when I knew he'd be home. And, well, I kind of thought we were getting somewhere, and then he just took off. Well, if he's going to tell anybody, I think he would have done it by now. Unless he's waiting for the right time to do maximum damage. No, I don't think so. I reckon we're safe, so relax. Is this enough? Uh, yeah, plenty, mate. Thanks for bringing it over. Whoa, man. How does the other guy look? No, I left the wine cellar door half open and walked straight into it. Teach me, I suppose. He would have to have thrown himself at that door to do that much damage. Go figure, eh? So, come on, tell me. How'd the interview go? Well, if you want designer streetwear at mates' rates, I'm your man. You got it. Awesome, Maddie. Yeah, I'll start next week. It'll be full on. Oh, and no more middle-of-the-day blind dates for me. Yeah, yeah. I still think you're exactly what Morgan needs. That marriage of hers is a sham. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but it's what she wants out of her. I mean, she told me that again this morning. What? You met up with her? Yeah, by accident. <sighs> And got straight to a sex life. <laughs> well, well. It wasn't like that. <laughs> Araha, drug round. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. Uh, later, Maddie. The IV, your shout. Done. What are you doing here? Um, Araha asked me 
I thought you had a day for your, your husband. I do, but I wanted to see my boss, but she's busy, so... I'm sorry, I don't mean... What's wrong? I don't know what to do. About? Gerald. I love him. He's my best friend in the world, but... I go home and he's there and... He's so sweet and kind and... It just makes me feel so lonely. I'm sorry. Really. I don't know where she is. She's not answering my texts. You two certainly don't do anything conventionally. Well, I am who I am, Yvonne. You boys, I don't know. What? Never mind. The point is, Morgan loves you the way you are. At the same time, she's clearly not sure about this whole baby arrangement. But she wants one as much as I do. Like I said, maybe she wishes things could be done in the old-fashioned way. And I said we've been over that. But she is a very sweet girl. She might be compromising more than she feels comfortable with. She wants a baby born of love. Doing things with a specimen jar, but it's hardly a joyful occasion. Yeah, well, I'd do anything for her, Yvonne. I just want to make her happy. Then you'll do what Morgan needs. Gerald, this would kill him. I'm sorry. You really are one of the good girls. Oh, it's not that. It's... I know we've got our problems, but I have to deal with them properly. Not like this. Yeah. You sure need to get something out of your system. Tell me about it. I've never jumped a guy that way before. <sighs> Honestly, mate, if things have been different... You know, fate keeps bringing us together. I mean, maybe there's a reason. I know there is, but it's not. Thanks for understanding. Hey, um, if you ever want my number, ask Adoha. We should probably do something here. Wash, cut and style. I tried the suit. I don't think adding a haircut's gonna make me any more comfortable around Tanya. Of course not. Duh. So remind me what we're doing here? Confidence. That's what you need. You could have no teeth and a hunch, but if you have that air of confidence, you'll find yourself at ease with any woman. This is so not gonna work. Repeat after me. This is going to work. <sighs> this is going to work. I'll call Cheryl at the salon. What about clothes? Downtown? What's your credit limit like? Fine, I guess. Why? Start downtown. We'll call into one of those harbour cafes, go through the wine list, ordering. Ah, oh, yes, interaction with staff, wine appreciation. Your haircut's not gonna do it. We need to teach you to be comfortable in any situation. I'm still gonna make mistakes. Of course you are. It's how you handle those mistakes. With wit and grace, or sulking like a big doofus. I'm guessing no to the doofus option. Correct. He's learning. Oh, finally, we might get somewhere with a charade. Oh, Cheryl! <laughs> I need to ask you a favour. So how's the news story going? Got it down to 1,500 words. Hmm, how many do they want? 700. Ouch. Yeah, and if I don't meet the deadline, I'll never get another shot at it. Well, maybe I could read it over lunch, give you some critical feedback. Hey. Hi, is my mum free? Sophie, hello. Do you want me to read it or not? Um, I'll catch you up, eh? I just need to talk to Daniel. OK. Well... You had your chance to tell my dad. How come you didn't? You asked me not to. Anyway, I get it. Kira didn't chase you. You threw yourself at him. If that's the game you want to play, it's none of my business. Sarah says you can go through. Thanks.
Peter. Peter. He's adorable. Now, oh, puppies are adorable. Men are handsome. I think we might have just pushed you into the handsome category. Oh, new clothes and puffy here. It's still me. And what happened on the way back? Some Sheila's had a laugh at my expense. Those wolf whistles were entirely genuine. And didn't that lady in the shop give you the eye? Certainly seemed a happy sort. No. Men. None so blind. She wasn't happy. She was smiling at you. Didn't you notice the way she was standing? <laughs> yeah. She did have a nice figure. Now you mention it. <sighs> have you got the receipt? Yeah, I can one shirt cost nearly 200 bucks. Could have put half a dozen flannelettes and a pair of moleskins for that. Aha, what's that? Looks like a phone number and name. I don't think she was that attractive. Uh, Actually, I think this makeover thing's working. Now, don't get ahead of yourself. You still need to talk Tanya into another date. Hey, if she does, she does. If not, uh, can I have that receipt back? Where have you been? Are you all right? I, I was really worried, Morgan. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have run out. I should have called you. No, it was my fault. I, ma I made everything all, I don't know, clinical and wrong. You wanted to make a baby, which is the whole point. No, I wanted us to share raising a child. I, I couldn't, I, I can't think of anything better. Which is why the whole sex bit is so unimportant. No, it is important. I realise that, and that's why I want us to do it. Old school. Well, you don't need to, Gerald, honestly. No, I want to do it right. Together. Uh, properly. Okay? G'day. Hi. Now that we're not going out, do you mind if I ask you something? I guess not. Okay. On a scale of one to ten, ten being an overall wearing straw chewing banjo player, how much of a hick am I? Uh. 7.5. And your ideal man on a scale of 1 to 10? 1 being a hick and 10 being a pink shirt wearing metrosexual would be? 5. Have you done something with your hair? I managed to be persuaded out of my usual $10 cut, yeah. And who talked you into that? Plus a new shirt, which is very nice by the way. Should be. Damn thing costs nearly 200 bucks. So what's with all the questions? I wanted to figure out why I felt like such a loser last night. Man. You spent so much time laughing at Maxwell's jokes, I was wondering who was dating who. You weren't saying more than two words in a row. What was I supposed to do? Oh, you obviously prefer Maxwell's company to mine. What was I supposed to do? I was enjoying our date. You wumped out and ran. So left me there like a bump on a log. Very good. You speak rural. I am from the country as much as you are. You don't act like it. Well, meaning? I think you think you're too good for me. I do not. Fine. So, will you have dinner with me tonight? You're joking. Did those two put you up for this? Yes, but I thought, why not? Look, I actually really like you, and when you're not being all city-fied and I'm not wimping out, we get on really well. The answer is no. We've been down this road too many times. <sighs> so now who's wimping out? I'm not wimping out. I'm just not doing what those two clowns want. Fine, you're not wimping out. You're just chicken. Yes. No! So what time will I pick you up tonight? I'm not going out with you. Oh, come on. You've got to eat, I've got to eat. I've got a booking at the IV at 8 and I need to show off my new clothes and wine expertise. I can now tell red from white. Oh, fine. <sighs> Can't keep you out of this place. Ah, oh, um, I was just after some takeaways. Uh, the Thai chicken, please. Coming right up. You can afford takeaways now. I didn't even think you'd finish your first story yet. Oh, yeah. I heard you left school to do journalism. Yeah, I did. I'm writing for the Ferndale Gazette. Copy room go for more like it. No time wasting study for our Sophie. Uh. What happened to Karen? Well, he reckons he banged his head on the wine room door. Got dealt to, more like. <laughs> Is he up to his old tricks again? Not that I know of, but he said it was an accident. Convincing liar is Karen. Half of everything he ever told me was rubbish. Who knows, eh? Ready to order? I'll have the Thai chicken too. I'll just see if I can score some more shifts. Uh, Daniel says he won't say anything. See, so we can relax. He says whatever I do is none of his business, which is weird. So he's decided to leave you alone and take no for an answer. It's a good thing the boy's got a nasty streak. Did you see him last night after he left me, or this morning, maybe? 
you think his change of heart's done to me? I'm hardly likely to win him over now, am I? Well, it just seems kind of funny that he went from being so angry to not caring at all. That's not how we left it. Yeah, well, like you said, he's a weird kid. Thanks. Thank you. So, uh, you were saying about the orchard? Oh, yes. I loved it. All that open space. I mean, I never spent more than a week in a city till I moved to Wellington for nursing. I thought I'd go mad at first. Yeah, me too, when I shifted here. So, we're not so different after all. Uh, thanks for giving me another chance. Thanks for asking. Hey. Oh, hey there. How's the head been? Recovered from last night? I have, uh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I really like that shirt. And the hair, you've done something. Hey, uh, we should join tables. So I'll get us some wine. Uh, guys, uh, please don't take offence to this, but go away. We're trying to have a quiet dinner here. Table for two. I'll apologise tomorrow. No need. Good call. Well, it's just fingers crossed now. Mm. And we know we got the timing right, so maybe we'll be first time lucky. Maybe. Are you okay? Not really. I just made you do something you never wanted to do. Oh, you didn't make me. I'd do anything for you. Because you're a kind, generous man. <laughs> My best friend in the world. <laughs> and I'm your best friend. Which is why we have to stop living like this. What? We've tried to give each other what we most want, Gerald. But we can't. It's impossible. We're just going to make each other miserable. M M Morgan, no. I'm... I can't do it anymore. I can't pretend what we have is enough when it isn't. It's eating me up. And I know that it's hurting you. So where's the happiness? So we have to let each other go. I'm sorry. But the marriage, it has to end. <laughs>